Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Um, I'm going to do another Sheely art and I'm, I'm going to incorporate my abstract painting in it again. And what I did was I um, have my house paint by Color Place from Walmart, but this time I thinned out the base coat with some water. And I'm going to see the difference with this. And I'm doing all of my colors with pigments only this time. Um, I can get kind of crazy with colors. So my colors today are the Peacock Feather Pigment. I have the Vavoom Red Pigment. I have the Dragonfire Pigment. I have the Interference Violet and the Interference blue and then I have my Payne's gray pigment they're all my pigments and they are made up of 15 mls of rust-oleum and 15 mls of vivid enamel with just a spoonful of pigments in them mix it together and away you go my cell activator is just Floetrol and paint so I found my handy dandy palette knife, but I don't know how that's going to work. So I might just use my spoon well, again. Maybe you'd use both. I might just do a little bit of both. We're going to see here. As you can see, this is a lot thinner. Yeah, that is a lot thinner than the last video. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how it works. We're going to see here, Phil, how it works. Now also, if you take this to the ends, you don't have to tip as much. Because sometimes you get a beautiful um, design and you tip it off. So um, you can take it to the ends. It, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Now, here we go, people. This is going to be something. This is my paint's gray. And you want to have your um, interference colors on an opaque color. You don't want to stack them because they'll get lost. So you want to put them on a darker color. <clears throat> but Phil will have you know these colors all in the description, and we'll go from there. Well, I, I, be, I better put them in the description after the other color, otherwise it will get lost. I better be careful what order I put them in the description. Oh, aren't we just something today? Yes, we are. I'm just, you know, going to let it go by the wayside. You're, you're whispering. Well, you're not, that's for sure. I know. I do get in my little mode where all of a sudden I just start whispering and it's like, okay. So there you go, Phil. Whisper, whisper. I'm the paint whisper. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the dog whisper. I'm the paint whisper. We're going to see how these colors turn out now. It's going to be quite interesting, don't you think, Phil? Well, I'm hoping. Wishing and hoping. You, you got to put the cell. I know, but I got to get that bubble out of there. Oh. See the bubbles? No. Oh. Yes. They're gone now. Don't worry, I didn't forget it. It would help if I'd open up the tap, won't it? 
<laughs> yeah, that, that usually does make a difference. Okay, this time I'm going to blow it a little bit. Not much though. Now we're going to drag. 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 Dude, look at that, Phil. Mm, yeah, you gotta get some of that paint dragged around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I'm gonna do this just to see what happens here. More black? Yep. I know you're having a fit. I know. Because cool. mm -hmm. once this is stretched, I think it's going to look really cool. I just want to bring out some more pigments. You want to drag in into that area? In a minute. Okay. Where's my spoon? Oh, here. <laughs> it's hiding. drag too much of that pigment out of there. No. Nope. I'm going to leave that because once I stretch it, i got to see what happens. All right. I know you you have a fit about some of this stuff, but... Well, I, I have no clue, but I'm still... <laughs> You're still going to put your two cents yes, in. That's right. Giving you unsolicited advice, suggestions that are worthless, not always. Mm. I am liking these colors though. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, by um, thinning that base. Really, really run, makes it run. Well, yeah. I don't know if I like it running that much. Well, we'll see at the end. Yeah. If that was a good idea or not. Well, if it wasn't, I'm just going to say it was your idea. Well, that's okay. I'm loving these colors, though. Loving them. Holy moly. Look at these colors. Mm-hmm. They're really pretty. Oh, I'm liking this. What do um, you think? I, yeah, it's turning out very nice. I like the composition. I 
I like this. This is really pretty. The this colors is. are really, really pretty. They are. Mm -hmm. I really like this. I think it's I think it very turns out super. Yeah, I think it's very, very pretty. The colors are amazing. Yeah, it's just it's a shame they don't show up super great in this, in this room. Mm hmm Because there isn't a lot of good light. Well, what but, we're, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to like show it. Yeah, we'll show it. When you it's, know when it's finished. Yes. Um, because then it really, really uh, there's a huge difference. Yes. So, um, but I want to tell everybody that um, the last couple days, well, what is today? Wednesday. Yeah, the last couple days I've been doing. Um, some different uh, coasters. So I'm going to resin my new ones today and I'm going to show you. I'm not going to uh, tell you what I'm doing with these. Um, after they're resined, you'll, you'll see when I show them. But um, I did some of them yesterday that I already have done, but um, I'll show you as soon as I'm done resining and they're finished. And um, Please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join our family. If you already did subscribe, thank you so much. So, so much. You guys all make my day. Whenever you have a comment, I try to answer everybody. Um, if I don't, Phil will say, you have some comments, you need to get them off the computer. So he's my backup person with that. And um, he's my main man that videos. So, until the next time, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment. If you want me to do something, I'll try. I don't know if it'll turn out, but I'll give it a try. So, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And happy painting to everybody. And, and show me some of the things that you make. I'd love to see it, and I'd love to know where you're from. So, until the next time, bye.